Here I am driving a Caterham Academy car and I've done this video specifically to explain trail braking, which in my opinion is probably the, one of the most important techniques for driving a Caterham Academy car quickly. For me you gain a lot more lap time on the way into corners than you do on the way out. The reason being is you're in a car with not much power, a lot of grip and quite a lot of drag at higher speeds. So even if you come out of a corner 3-4 miles an hour faster than someone else, what tends to happen is you run out of power earlier, you get more drag earlier, so once you get 40-50 metres up the road you're sat doing the same speed. Whereas your corner entry, that point from when you hit the brake to your apex at 100-150 metres is where you can really gain a lot of lap time. For the purpose of this video I've used turn 2 at Snetterton, a 108 degree hairpin called Montreal, but this technique really applies to all hairpins. And during the video try and keep a close eye on my feet, and particularly when I'm coming off the brake pedal mid-corner, and also a little eye on my throttle which is here, this is currently reading full throttle at the moment, obviously that's because I'm approaching the corner, but keep an eye on that blue bar that's telling you how and when I'm getting on the throttle. So, first of all, it's important to remember your apex is the slowest part of any corner, so by definition the car should be slowing down up until the apex. In this particular corner the apex is somewhere around here which you can't really see, so from the moment I hit the brake pedal the car should be slowing down up until that point. So I arrive at the corner on full throttle, I decide where I'm going to brake, and I quickly go from full throttle to hard brake pressure. There's no coasting immediately from full throttle straight to the brake pedal and immediately onto the maximum brake pressure I'm going to use for this corner. The reason for that is there's more rotational force on the wheels the higher the speed you're going. So you can brake harder at a higher speed without locking up than you can at a lower speed. So you brake immediately hard and then you're quite quickly into a phase where you're going to then start releasing brake pressure as the speed starts to come off the car. So I brake hard and I go down the gears as early as I possibly can without damaging the engine or over revving the engine. I do that for two reasons. Number one, you get more engine braking by doing that. And number two, I feel it just frees up your mind a little bit to then really concentrate on the trail braking into the corner, adjusting the brake pressure and controlling the pitch of the car. So the earlier I can get those gear changes done, for me the better, it gives me less things to think about on the way into the corner. So I've hit the brake pedal hard, I'm releasing a little bit of brake pressure now and I've gone down both gears. You'll notice that the left front wheel is just starting to come away from the white line. And this is a technique I do for pretty much every hairpin. The reason for that is what I look to try and do is diagonalize the entry line. So sort of diagonally come across the track in a sort of straight line. And that has two effects. Number one, it shortens the entry line on the way into the corner. But also, it actually puts the tight turn of the corner slightly later in the corner. So if you imagine if I was following this white line here, I'd have a really tight line, tight turn, sorry, to do around about here. Whereas if I follow more this trajectory, my tight turn is later on in the corner, which allows me to brake later. And as I say, it also shortens the entry line. So I've braked hard, I've done my gear changes, I'm starting to release brake pressure, and I'm basically now looking to carry as much brake into the corner as I can without locking the front tyre or losing the rear of the car too much. So I'm looking to brake as much as I can into the corner, and that is for two reasons. Number one, obviously, if I can use this entry phase of the corner to still slow the car down, then that means I can brake later. But also, number two, it keeps weight on the front of the car, which allows me to turn the car more. So I'm looking to brake as much as I can into the corner. My apex is going to be somewhere around about the end of this sausage curb or slightly before. And you can clearly see at the moment I'm still on the brake pedal. So again, like I say, that's slowing the car down, but it's also keeping some weight on the car, which is allowing me to turn the car. We get to a point mid-corner just about now, and you can see I've come off the brake pedal. But I'm not going to go on the throttle pedal yet. One of the most common questions I get asked is why is there a gap between brake and throttle and for me there almost always is in these particular cars a gap between brake and throttle and the reason is is it's all about how much you're turning or rotating the car so if you imagine up until the apex the corner is getting tighter and tighter so I can brake harder at the beginning of the corner than I can as I get towards the apex but as it's getting tighter and tighter the reason you can't brake as hard as you get towards the apex is because you're asking the car to turn more as you get right near the apex that's where you're asking the car to turn or rotate the most because you're asking the car to turn and rotate the most of that point you have to be off the brake pedal so the car turns that last little extra bit to then allow you when you get to the apex which is now you can just see my blue bars just come on so I'm just starting to get on the throttle the cars turn the most just before that point which then hopefully is going to then allow me to quickly get to full throttle for the corner exit so for a quick recap then, the reason we trail brake is it allows us to brake later and carry more speed into the corner, utilising that distance between turn and apex to still slow the car down. Ironically, trail braking into the corner actually improves our exit as well because we keep weight over the front axle, which allows us to rotate the car mid-corner and get quicker to full throttle. As we come into the corner, we're on full throttle, we're quickly onto the brake using maximum brake pressure straight away. Down the gear change as early as you can without over revving the 
car and then diagonally come across the circuit to shorten that entry line. Carry the brakes a long way in till just before your apex, then you always, always have that period where you're just off both pedals, where you rotate the car as much as you possibly can in that phase before then quickly getting onto full throttle. I hope you found that trail braking video useful. I will be adding more Caterham Academy training videos to my YouTube channel, Ben Clucas Racing, so keep an eye on that for updates.